Well, here we go. It's the second consecutive appearance for Andreas Duvis, who is about to get this match underway. This for a place in the final. Lovely from Shao. Turn her attention back to Olympic qualification. You have to say, China very, very likely to qualify either as a, a top four nation in women's sabre or as the leading Asian nation if they can't make it into the top four. No, no. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting one, isn't it? You see this uh, across uh, quite a few of the disciplines in fencing where uh, one team is cheering on uh, someone from the same zone to stay up in the top four so that they claim uh, the zonal, uh, the additional zonal spot. But the other thing about uh, Asia is that Japan uh, are not that far behind China. But... Uh, They timed that replay for you, John. And uh, we go to the break here. And uh, it's still pretty tight, but Shara will come out the happier. Uh, but uh, John, what I was saying was that, that, that Japan are not too far behind uh, China, so we can't rule them out yet. But my gut feeling is that China are either going to creep into the top four or Korea will stay there and, and they will be through. And you've got to say that, that uh, Shara is very likely to be on that Chinese team. Uh, barring uh, any medical issues. It's a different story for Nicotina though, because it, Russia, again, are one of the teams that we absolutely, we can't confirm that they're qualified, but they're all but qualified. Um, and Nicotina's fighting for a place within a very, very strong unit. Yeah, and the, the thing is, uh, Velikaya is probably your number one pick. Igorian is coming back and looking strong. Pozniakova has been a world champion, so he's right up there. And probably before this tournament, Shevaleva was your number four. Shevaleva and Nikita was within the team last year, so I think they're back in that spot at the moment. Also, both of them will be looking to push for a very good team as number four. Even if it's the individual in the Olympic Games. Critical time for uh, both nations. Uh, China trying to stay ahead in team qualification and uh, Russia well, with a plethora of talent. We're into the second half of this match and it is Nicotina who's battled her way back in as you were perhaps alluding to. Thank you. 
Yeah, so changing things up and effectively adding phases to her fencing has put the Russian uh, from a losing position into a winning one. As soon as she reverts to how she was fencing in the first period, she loses out. There, again, a, a multiple phase. I know that's a bit of a dumbed down way of putting it, but it, then she's not going for her very first intention or she's setting the hit up, uh, Nicotina. Absolutely, the longer the hit goes on, the better chance she has by the look of it. Yeah, I thought it was as well. The, sp the hand speed from Nicotina was phenomenal. Referee was thinking about that one. Uh, he is going to go and have a quick look at the video, but I think even Sh uh, Shah knows that that was Nicotina's. Nicotina has done herself a massive favour in terms of potentially getting into uh, the Russian team. But uh, cue uh, hysteria here at the Zenith in uh, Orléans because the second semi final includes one of the hometown favourites and one of the world's best fencers.